Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Turf Nike Elastico Finale 3 in the brand new Blue Lagoon Black and Total Crimson colorway. Now inside the box, as you guys can see, all you get are the shoes themselves. They do not come with any extras. So let me get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at what I consider to be one of the best values in indoor or turf shoes currently out there on the market in the form of the Elastico Finale 3. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over all of the tech specs, take a closer look at how these things fit, feel, and ultimately perform. So if you are interested in learning more about the Elastico Finale 3, please stick around. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's quickly talk about this brand new colorway. So as you guys can see, the base for the shoe is a combination of black and blue lagoon. Now the blue lagoon color, there's two shades on the shoe. In the midfoot, it's a little bit darker. Um, it has more of a translucent appearance to it. Whereas in the forefoot and toe box area, it's definitely more solid, a little bit lighter as you guys can see. I mean, it does look a little bit odd at first. I'm not crazy about the two shades of blue, but that is how they did it as you guys can see. The rest of the shoe from the heel, and of course the medial side of the shoe as you guys can see is all black with a nice matte finish to it. You can see you have the perforations there that shows the actual blue um, base layer to the actual Nike skin, which I think looks pretty cool against that black background. Black laces, the neoprene area across the top of the foot is also black in color. You're going to find your total crimson orange Nike swoosh right there with the camo pattern in the middle. One more orange Nike swoosh here on the medial side, your reflective silver strip going across the back of the shoe. And then moving on to the outsole and midsole, you can see the midsole is white in color. The outsole is mainly white in color. And then you have, again, that two shades of blue kind of making a foot map pattern right there at the base with one more total crimson Nike swoosh. So pretty straightforward color. I like that it's black on the medial side and blue on the lateral side. Um, and the com combination of colors actually looks pretty good in my opinion, but leave your opinions on it down below in the comment section. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why or why not? And next let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. Like I mentioned earlier, the Elastico Finale 3 is in my opinion, one of the best values in indoor slash turf soccer shoes at at the moment. It has a retail price of $90 US and for your $90 you're actually getting some premium materials and technologies from Nike. Uh, the Hypervenom Phantom has a Nike skin upper that shoe retails for around $220, $230 whereas for $90 you're getting that same material here on the Elastico Finale 3 and in comparison to the Elastico Finale 2 which also featured Nike skin this shoe is actually $10 cheaper which is pretty surprising but I'm not complaining. Cheaper is always better especially if they maintain the same level of quality which they have so nike skin for those that don't know is a base layer of honeycomb mesh you can see it pretty clearly here in the texturing of the upper that is what gives it its texturing and then you have several layers of fused on thin polyurethane to create that top coat for the synthetic material so you have less layers here in the midfoot where the uh, synthetic color is a little bit darker whereas right here where it's a little bit lighter and more solid you can see that you have that extra layer that's not only there for durability reasons but the whole reason for having the Nike skin top layer is just for that added grippy feel on the ball. In comparison to the Hypervenom Phantom, it definitely has more of a matte finish as opposed to feeling a little bit waxy to the touch. But overall, the touch that you get is very thin, very low profile. And if you're looking for a premium barefoot feel, the Elastico Finale 3 is one of very few indoor models that actually provides something that is on par with higher end outdoor or firm ground shoes. Now this shoe does feature a one piece design that is somewhat similar to that of the uh, Vapor 10 in that it is a low cut shoe as opposed to a mid cut shoe like you'd find from the Elastico Superfly, but that shoe is flying it and just a completely different animal as it is. Um, what you're gonna find in this one piece design is actually a neoprene type of material that is somewhat stretchy running through the middle of the shoe and you have no physical tongue. It's just kind of a neoprene opening as well, which is somewhat unusual looking, but it actually feels pretty good once you put it on. Uh, the lacing system runs um, kind of into the shoe so it goes in and then back out so you have two lace holes as opposed to one because of this one piece design but it still allows you to get a nice tight fit one thing that I did notice though is that it is a little bit low across the back of the shoe and the material that they used on the inside heel liner which is like a padded mesh material can be a little bit slick so it is pretty important that you tie the laces particularly tight right at the top in order to prevent any kind of heel slippage um, if you are having heel slippage issues just try tying your shoes a little bit tighter and it is something that will go away but of course something's still worth noting but nonetheless comfortable shoe they fit really well and we'll talk more about the fit a little bit later in the video the insole is fully removable it features a 
mesh liner on top and is made from an ortholite material. It's the same exact insole you're going to find on the Elastico Superfly, which does retail for $60 more. Um, and this is what's going to provide the majority of your underfoot cushioning. It's a nice, dense, thick foam material. It's a good job of providing really good step in comfort. You do have somewhat of a midsole here um, with phylon foam running through the heel and midfoot area of the shoe where the forefoot is left pretty much completely just basic with your rubber outsole, no extra padding there whatsoever. And there's no plastic to the construction of this shoe. So it's very, very flexible, um, which is something that I think a lot of people are looking for from a thin, low profile shoe like the Elastico Finale 3. As far as that turf outsole is concerned, um, this is it. It does feature the little rubber nubs that have this nice hexagon shape, as you guys can see. They are pretty long. I would say this is definitely a more aggressive turf traction pattern. So it does provide really, really good traction on artificial grass or turf plane surfaces. You do get the rubberized rim going all the way around uh, the edge of the toe box and forefoot area just to allow for a little bit better durability overall, preventing the upper end sole from um, separating from each other. And again, as far as traction is concerned, if you're playing on an artificial plane surface of any kind, this definitely does do the job. So uh, also keep in mind that this is available in an indoor variation as well if you're playing predominantly on indoor courts, but turf variation right here definitely does the trick. And over Overall, as far as performance is concerned, there's very little to complain about with the Elastico Finale 3. And if anything, you're getting a lot more for your money than I think most people would expect with its $90 retail price. If you guys are interested in a pair of these for yourself, check out the review page on my website. There's a link to that down below in the description. There'll be buy it now links with SR4U coupon codes where you can actually pick these up below their $90 retail price if you're interested in a pair for yourself. So again, check that out. First link down below in the description. That's it for tech specs. Next, let's talk about the weight of the shoe and see how lightweight it actually is. As far as weight is concerned, pretty much everything about the Elasco Finale 3 is minimal, so it shouldn't be too surprising that they're pretty light. So I'm gonna weigh this pair for you today in real time using the scale. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. I'm gonna throw it on the scale. And you can see that they weigh in at 8.1 ounces, which is pretty remarkable for a turf shoe. A lot of turf shoes in the same size tend to weigh in at around 10 to 13 ounces. So be at, to be at 8.1 ounces is very impressive. Keep in mind that the indoor version of the Elastico Finale 3 will actually be even lighter because it won't have that extra rubber in the outsole. Um, that you do get with the turf variation. And again, at 8.1 ounces, it's a very solidly made shoe. It's very comfortable. You get adequate traction. And uh, it's even a little bit lighter than the Elasco Superfly in the turf variation in the exact same size. So all in all, very, very impressive as far as weight is concerned. And if you're looking for a lighter turf shoe, the Elasco Finale 3 is definitely one of the best options out there right now. All right, so here's a look at the Elasco Finale 3s. And on feet from right out of the box, I think the first thing people will notice when they put these on is the heel area. It's very low cut, especially across the very back of the shoe. And it is something that bothered me a little bit at first and did take some getting used to. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, you really have to tie the laces tight, especially right at the top in order to prevent any kind of heel slippage. If they're a little bit too lo loose, uh, not necessarily because of the cut, but more so because of the material on the inside of the heel liner. I just found that my heel slipped a little bit. But again, if I tied them tight enough, it's an issue that kind of resolved itself. Just something that I wish would be addressed in perhaps a future model, where they just use the more traditional synthetic leather type of heel liner as opposed to this mesh that can be a little bit slick against your socks. As far as the one piece design is concerned, the shape of the shoe is really good. They fit really nicely. It's a similar type of feel on feet. Uh, to that of the Mercurial Vapor 10 to a certain extent. Not quite the same shape, um, and a shoe that will be suitable for most foot types. You do have some stretch out of that neoprene material going through the middle of the shoe. Um, it's not necessarily the widest boot around, so if you do have really wide feet, probably not the best option. But uh, like I said, it will fit most people, especially considering it is made from Nike skin. So you will get some stretch out of the thin synthetic material, which is really nice. And of course they soften up really nicely after a couple hours of wear time as well. As far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size nine US here and the fit and the length is pretty much perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. So that's pretty much it as far as the on feet portion of the video is concerned. And I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, this is it for my review of the Turf Nike Elasco Finale 3. Again, a great value, a great overall package, Nike skin upper, one piece design, pretty solid fit, very comfortable shoe, lightweight, thin, flexible. And of course, it's available in indoor and turf variations that both perform really, really well 
on their specific surfaces. So again, if you're looking for a really high quality, thin, lightweight, barefoot style indoor shoe, the Elasco Finale 3, especially for its $90 retail price, is definitely a really, really good option. So again, if you guys are interested in a pair of these for yourself, check out the review page on my website. It'll be the very first link down below in the description. On that page, you'll find the high quality images of these shoes to give you a better idea as to how they actually do look in person. And of course, you will find those buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes, allowing you to pick these up below their $90 retail price. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave those down below in the comment section. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for a comparison video between the Elastic Finale 3 and Elastico Superfly. I'm working on that, so that is coming soon. Stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.